What's up, guys? I uh, I wanted to share a story with you today, and I wanted to challenge you today. So, one of the things that um, we learned when we were at our uh, that leadership convention, if you don't know, um, it was a couple Fridays ago. Uh, we got to hear from John Maxwell and several other well-known inspirations, right? Um, and I've been going through his thirty-day journey of trying to live intentionally and do things for other people. Um, and if you haven't noticed, uh, and, and you've been in Holland, you've seen me really try to go out of my way to connect with people individually and to really see how they're actually doing, right? Hey, how are you is not enough. So for me, I want to know what's going on with you and I want to be able to help you and I want to um, be able to have our building be a place that you can come in and feel at home and that you can trust. And that's ultimately the most important thing to me. So uh, one of the speakers, though, um, really, really talked about three pillars. And the three pillars are, um, you know, things that your business, those are its anchors. And I, I it really kind of hit a chord with me. And I, I sat there and I thought about it. And I said, well, what are, what are our anchors? What, what do I truly believe are the three things that we are great at doing and that if we continue to be great at these three things, we're going to continue to be awesome, right? Um, and, we're, and we're going to continue to be able to have a positive impact on people. And they're very simple. Um, relationships, results, and community. And, and those are the three things. So everything that we do from here on out, um, if it doesn't go back to one of those pillars, why are we doing it? Can it be, can it be gotten rid of? Right? Can it be something that um, we can get rid of and go into a different place and focus more of our time on something else? So um, that's how I'm kind of judging everything that we do. So what I wanted to challenge you guys today was it's not enough for, for us as a staff to take this information in and then not share it with you, right? So um, as my good buddy Rich Lohman would say, be a river, not a reservoir, right? Like taking all this, this great information, all this great learning and things in and then not sharing it with you guys is... Um, it's not the right thing to do. So what I'm going to do this week and, and, and what I want you to do between now and the end of next week. So it gives you almost two weeks to do this. And um, it's, it's going to be called the Better a Boot Camper Challenge, right? And, and it's two weeks long. Okay, so it's a 14-day challenge. Uh, it's not anything exciting um, where you have to work really hard in the gym or anything like that. It's more of a personal thing. And again, you do not have to participate in this if you don't want to. Um, but if you do want to, I really think... Not only are you going to make a positive impact on somebody else, but you're going to feel a real sense of, of, of significance and um, you just feel better about yourself when you do nice things for people. So what, here's what it is, okay? I want you to take somebody that you enjoy at a boot camp session that you don't know outside of boot camp, okay? So if it's your friend who you've known for years and you guys jo join together, that's awesome. That's not the person I'm talking about. If you want to do something nice for them, they probably deserve it for putting up with you, right? Um, I know all my friends deserve gold medals. So what I want to do is I want you to take somebody who you see at the session that you like to attend often, but you don't really know that well, or maybe somebody that you've met and became good friends with since joining boot camp. And I want you to do one of three things, and it can be any one of these things that you want. Um, and, and I don't care which one it is. This is up for you to decide and, and, and up to you to see how comfortable you really feel. But ultimately, I challenge you to kind of go above and beyond, right? Um, and when you do this, do, do you have to tell everybody? No. Just use the hashtag Better a Boot Camper Challenge. Or if you want to participate, Better a Boot Camper Challenge. And just hashtag it. Um, if it's something that you think is a great idea and that you want to participate in, um, I think it'd be really cool to see our community kind of help each other out a little bit. So here's what your options are. All right, and there's three, op three options. One is go to that person and just tell them something positive that you've noticed about them since you've seen them at boot camp, right? It can be how hard they work. It can be a million different qualities. But you, you, when you look at that person, you just, you've noticed something that's just really cool about them and let them know what it is. Even if it's just their smile is just constant and they're just the most positive person ever, right? Um, the second thing you can do is if you want to get them a small gift card or a card and tell them you inspire them via card so you don't have to face-to-face -face do it. I know some people, 
they have that person in their mind. They're like, man, this re- this person's really cool. I, I I think this is the person that I want to reach out to and, and make a positive impact on. But you're just a very non face to face type individual. Get them a card. Get them a little gift card. Write them a note and just hand it to them one day. Um, and then let them read it. Let them read it at home. Even tell them, hey, I wouldn't. I would really appreciate it if you open this after the session. Um, I just you know this really meant something to me. Here you go. And then the third thing um, that you can do is just if if you don't have somebody yet, introduce yourself to somebody who inspires you during your workouts. So if it's somebody who you just seem to see all the time and they just seem to really be working hard and it doesn't matter what fitness level, if there's somebody who you're like, man, I can't believe that that person's in here just kicking butt every day. That is so awesome. Go introduce yourself to that person and let them know that they inspire you. And I honestly think um, that by doing one of those three things, that uh, not only are you going to really help them feel not only more comfortable, but more positive about their experience, it's also going to help you be like, you know what, that person, I could really see the smile on their face and that made my day. So um, this is my Better a Boot Camper Challenge. I would really love it if you guys all, um, as many of you as feel comfortable, would, would participate in this. I think it's going to... Go back to that relationship and the community aspect of the things that we do here. And ultimately, I think it even uh, carries over into results because if people are more positive, if people are more comfortable and they buy into the process more, how much better are the results going to be, right? So this challenge, I really think, will actually influence all three of the, of the anchors that we hold super, super important here at FitBody. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me. I don't want to keep you any longer. Um, let me know how you do. Uh, if you want to send me a personal message or if you want to um, put it on Facebook, cool. That'd be awesome. Can't wait to see what you guys do with this one. Have a great week.